Hello everybody, it's me again, Danielle. I'm with JK Realty, and we are currently gonna take a look at the models that they have here at Gion Homes. The first one that we're gonna look at is called the Almeria. It is a single story, if I can see right. And it is 3,100 square feet. If you have any questions while I'm going through, feel free to uh, leave a comment, and I will go ahead and answer them if I'm able to. Let's see about turning this around. Okay. I'm just gonna chill here in the uh, internal courtyard for a second while I see if anybody else is going to join us right away. Now, uh, the wonderful rep said that at least two of their single story homes have internal courtyards. Now, this is pretty cool. It's like a gate and then another gate. And this door actually goes to the uh, single bay garage. There is another double bay garage on the other side. So all, all seven of their models, she said, come with three car garages. A few of them are tandem. A few of them are the separate where it's a two car and then a single car. So here's your internal courtyard. Nice little Arcadia door that you can open up to. And let's go ahead and go inside. I know quite a few of you were able to see other people's walkthroughs the other week when they had a wine and cheese event. Unfortunately, I was not able to make that event, so I made some time today. Here is a formal dining room right as you walk in and again here is that internal courtyard I have a feeling that that door comes in from the other garage you've got a nice little multi-purpose room right here Looks like you can make it into a sitting room, perhaps an office for those of you who work at home. A tiny little coat closet right at the front. And now we've got the very front bedroom. Now, I believe that this front bedroom is actually the master. But I might be wrong. I'll have to verify that as I go through. There's me. Hi, me. Here's the bathroom. This bathroom looks a little bit small for a master, so I'm going to say this is probably just a regular bedroom. Let's go take a look at exactly how big it is one more time. Nice, huge, lofted ceilings. Cute little windows that are above, which makes that wall still usable, which is fantastic. So many builders put two big windows on a corner room like this and then you pretty much can't use an entire wall because you can't put anything against the window. Here's another linen closet. Nobody. It's got a closet. Nobody needs a up close and personal. Here's a pseudo wet bar, and then we've got a full bath. Oh, I'm sorry, powder room, powder room. Goodness, look at the size of this island. I'll try to avoid talking right now so you all can be serenaded by the lovely Ed Sheeran. built-in oven and an enormous walk-in pantry. 
I'm actually going to go into the pantry a little bit because I can't tell you how awesome it is to have a nice, huge walk-in pantry. Like, we all need them, we all want them, and for some reason, they're a lot harder to find than you would think. Perfect, lots of shelving for those big families or even just people who like to stock up on sales. Very nice, large family style room. Great for entertaining with the open layout. That island is just enormous. And it looks like there's plenty of access to the outside. We've got a very large, uh, looks to be a double opening, as you can see here. There's a double track. So it looks like not only is it an Arcadia door, but you can open it all the way. Uh, well, two panels worth of the three. Then there is another Arcadia door over there from the eating area. Again, for those of you watching, this is the Almeria. It is 3,100 square feet, four bedroom, 3.5 bath. I do believe that this is the master suite. We'll go into the bathroom first. Focus, there we go. Okay, so it's going to be a little echoey in here with just the vaulted ceilings as well as the uh, tile everywhere. But there's a very nice sized single vanity, large tub, another vanity that's even larger than the initial one, a room for doing the business, and an enormous long walk-in closet. I'm going to try to get the best I can of showing this whole thing. I'm going to go slow, that way you all can take it in. This thing is huge. I love that it's got the natural lighting, but it's raised, and so that's going to give you privacy while still allowing the natural light to come in. Let's go all the way down here and show the out. These are pretty massive. Plenty of storage above. And then we've got this gorgeous walk-in shower. Now that's kind of clever. I'm just gonna point this out real quick. Even though both of the shower heads are over on this wall, if you notice, there's no controls. The controls are over here if you can see them, if my phone would focus. Over here by where you walk in. So that's really nice. You can just adjust them right over here, let the water heat up over there, and then hop on in. That also means that you can get out of the water and then go and turn it off. I think there could be pluses to that. And here is the master suite. Plenty of room in here for, for your large beds and sing. And another door that leads out to the backyard. See, plenty, plenty of doors that lead out. Lots of light that can come in. And more backyard. Nice high doorway. All of the doorways look like they're taller than standard, so that's pretty nice. 
Now we're passing the living room area. And this room right here, the laundry room, it is the unsung hero of the house. It really is. This laundry room has a wash basin. It also has plenty of above cabinets. And there's even more space up there if you needed to store extra things. Plenty of space for your side-by-sides. And the ability to just close the door when you're done doing all your laundry. We've got another bathroom. Another linen closet. And then here are our two more rooms. This is a very adorably designed room. Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man, pretty cool. This bedroom also has a walk-in closet. And then the final bedroom. Very cute dog theme. And let's just verify. Yep, same type of walk-in closet. Perfect for keeping kids' toys, uh, extra storage, winter blankets. Though with all the linen closets, I don't see why you would need more winter blanket storage. And we live in Arizona, so we don't exactly need winter blankets like other states. Well, that is it for this layout. It's a very nice flow. And it feels huge. Let's get it shot of the ceiling here. All right, everybody, that's it for this house. Thank you so much for joining me on my walkthrough. And if you have any questions after the fact, go ahead and message me and ask. I will get right back to you as soon as I am able. Have a great rest of your day and happy Wednesday.